Welcome back to Offer Productions. My name is Chris. I am one part man, one part robot, and all parts Venari Crab. If you don't know what a Venari Crab is, neither do I. But it was on the last episode. Anyways, uh, yes. So, we've got a few things left over. On the 31st of this game, uh, this game, I have to have 10k in funds. I have about half that, so I have three days to get money. Oh, really? That bar called Valhalla. I know this bar named Valhalla. Let's go ahead and read this one out. <clears throat> Is it any good? I need to place to unwind after work. Work. Uh, normies are taking over? I heard everyone is neat just like me. Anyways, place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. I hell to the yeah, I'm a dick. How so? I've never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is, is she cute? I can take it if she's cute. She's she's cute. I am cute. Why, thank you very much. But I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. I see you already have a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? Is Are you Gilliam? Fuck you, Gilliam. Ingram, Ingram, sorry. I got I mixed up the characters. Fuck you, Ingram. <clears throat> nah, 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 I, I, I just heard it from the distance. So is that a no? I kind of, I mean, if you're going there, just, just to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I, can I smoke there? Is there a bar from the, in the BTC, B, BTC where you can smoke? No. Well, I think it sounds like I'm going there next week then. Sounds good enough. I, I have a new bartending person. I don't know. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody's actually surprised. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this is made of a lot of headlines. But then, but but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think it's mundane. It's become. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual places. Thanks to the new technology, the traditional views of human relationships have changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels... Well, it feels kind of tame. Uh, if the pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different, but it's just a plain generic anime hug pillow. Get with the times, Grandma. Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's head off to work. Let's go find out our new person. Um, and hopefully, hopefully... Uh, I can think of a voice for said person. Cool. Okay. <coughs> I'm still dying, by the way. Good evening. Ah, uh, Jill. I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the... You know, yeah, yeah, go. You, you, you get your firecrackers. I'll be right back. Look, even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. Oh, right, the firecrackers will scare the corgis. Shibas, Shibas, sorry. Corgis and Shibas are, whatever. They're the same dog. This fucking same dog, all right? Look, I, look, I know how hypocritical it sounds, but I, I, I don't care. I, I really don't. Ah, Jamie's here. Oh. Okay, that was weird. I didn't mean to do anything. He just appeared and disappeared. Hi, Jamie. Bye, Jamie. <clears throat> Greetings. Anyways, let's start. I don't care what any of these songs are. Time to mix drinks and change lives. By the way, I think Jamie wandered off all the way to um, Gilliam. Ah, that guy that wouldn't come back twice. God damn it, Ingram. I knew it. You fucking bastard. If you have not, if you don't recall our times with Ingram, episode two, uh, he asked if I w would ever fake an orgasm. I lied, of course. Uh, and I forgot what he came in the second one. What, what episode did the, uh, he came in back like last time? Anyways, he, he's weird. Whatever. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, yeah. Just shut up. By the chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of weird 
explosions, noises throughout that night. But, as far as I understand, those were made by the flying drone or something. So it flew here then. Okay. I take it you know what made the noises? Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. Yeah, it's a it's a drone. It's a... Oh, okay, fine, all right, whatever. Anyways, the noise got annoying after a while. I must say. So, it remained in the vicinity. Like I I don't I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but uh, yeah, sure. Distant explosions all night. Interesting, interesting. So it didn't get far away. Hmm. Um. Now give me a Mars blast. I'm a bartender. I'm a bartender at the tender bar. Hey, 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 hey. It's, apparently, this is what happens if you don't buy, um, if you don't buy the stuff that Jill kind of wants to keep her brain on track. Um, it will fuck you up. I think he wanted Mars Blast, right? So, it's some of the stories kind of coming back. Uh, the about a week uh, in game about a week ago, um, there was a lot of like a loud, shaky noise. Ah. Oh, uh, there were like a lot of noises that we couldn't tell what it was. So in the in the game, we're like, "Oh, it's this! No, it's this! It's a car backfire! No, it's this!" And then we just argued for like hours. Apparently, Ingram might know. Ooh, Here you go. Well, you didn't mess it up. Uh. If I, uh, if I may interject here. Are you looking for a fight? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, certainly not. Look, do you, do you, do you really think you stand a chance? Look at the eye patch. Oh my God, I just noticed that. It's not an eye patch. It's the Deus Ex eyeglass wear. It's a pair of sunglasses that go shoot. He's Adam Jensen. I didn't notice that. Look, mo mostly cyborg, assassin, hair. I don't know. Anyways, you're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. I, I, um, I can fight dirty. <laughs> I, yeah, you know what? That's how, actually I was gonna say for that. I can I can fight dirty. Uh, Jill, please. You make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get paid. You get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but <coughs> there are, there are better ways of saying stuff like that. Look, you're right. You're right. You're right. Fuck you, Ingram. No, um, uh, and like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem like you just like strong drinks. Yeah. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a it's a rare sight in this bar. I even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the uh, the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time? It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay. Let's try a suplex thing. I'm gonna get you a sugar. No, uh, let's just go and get him a sugar. Maybe it'll get him drunk enough to, you know, fuck, fuck, fuck off. Yeah, so anyways, um, so far, so Ingram's looking for something. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh -oh, like, as of right now, he, he he's not that bad today. He's been, he's been much worse. So, I mean, he, he, as long as he doesn't, like, cross a line, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Here you go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good stuff. Like a, like a less burning, but punchier pile driver. 
Say, your face looks somehow familiar, Mr. Ah, call me Jamie. And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyways, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file at... Did you perhaps go through a nanomachine expunge? I did, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I figured as much. Only a hand people, only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feels oddly suicidal. So why go, why go through the whole thing? Rejection. Need to hide something? Ah, uh, the second one. Ah, <coughs> uh, this voice is weird. Uh, it's easier to remain undetected when you, uh, when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. So how does this expunge work? Uh, you lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special, special IV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in bed while horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes. Uh, they're everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a me with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Uh, ow. So what are you having, Jamie? Ah, uh, this is a gun punch. Yeah. Yeah, I should have figured that. Hey, uh, give me one of those. Okay. Pizza with double cheese and wait, no, no, wait, no. This is bar. This is bar. Got punch. So, I, I don't, I actually kind of don't know what is kind of going on here with the between these two. So, we know Jamie's an assassin. Okay. Uh, we know Jamie's an assassin. He's murdered people for a living. He's uh, did all this other stuff, and for whatever reason, right now, he and Ingram are getting along fine. And again, as long as Ingram's not a dick, I don't give a fuck. But it, out of three times, he's been a dick twice. Oh, uh, yeah. I love these. It looks different from yours, though. I, I added a couple of extras in his, actually. So, uh... Where's the antibody unit they stuck with you, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweighs the cons. And the rest of the enhancements? Were you reconstructed or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. My name is Am Jensen. I never asked for this, but I am now a robot. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave now. Oh, it was nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again, you know, Ingram. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting today to be okay, but you know what, Ingram? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, don't count it. Well, fuck you too. You know, you said that twice, actually. You know, he seemed like a nice guy. Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. No, he wasn't. Uh, look, I won't... I, look, I'm not gonna call him a bastard. But he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you, uh... Maybe you caught him on a bad day. It was my second day, and he asked me if I ever faked an orgasm. Obviously, much worse happened there, but I kind of forgot the rest. Nah, nah, I, I just think you're good at bringing out the nicest side of people, Mr. Assassin Man. 
Yeah, that is pretty hard. Yeah. Man. Fuck you, Ingram. Fuck you. Ah, well, all right, so we're gonna hit. <clears throat> so now that we're gonna hit, oh, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and in today's episode, uh, eh, pretty light, not much happening. We do have more of the story going on. Um, you know, it's, there's a lot of backstory if you if you pay attention to the uh, through the episodes or if you stumbled upon this. There's a lot of backstory between all the characters, and I think there are ways for me to get more story out. And I'll have to go look to a walkthrough for once I'm done with this game. Uh, to see all of them because I do want to hear or see more of the story. You know, I, I know there's a there's a, a Kira Mickey, a, a Kira Mickey, uh, you know, Lilim Pop Star ending. There's a Dorothy ending. There's like a Say ending. I, I, there's a multiple endings as far as I know, and that's only because I've some I've seen the these things pop up from time to time. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and stop it today. Uh, you guys have fun. You could do, leave a comment. Let me know if you uh, you know if you know Ingram is a dick. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment, leave whatever you want. I'm going to be back tomorrow. You guys have fun. And I'm trying not to go into a coughing fit. I'm going to die right now. <coughs> Later.